things that you can do here in China, but you cannot do in the US. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why did I just open a can of beer like that? Well, what you have just witnessed there is a crime. If this was America, what I've just done now is a crime. Can you believe it, right? And if you take, if you open an alcoholic beverage, just open, I've not even had a sip of it, that is a crime, it's against the law. The police would probably come over, shoot me, tackle me, arrest me, just for opening it, not even having a sip. Right, so, but in China, look, there's police behind me here. No problem, don't even worry about it, you know. But it would be a completely different story if this was America. So anyway, cheers to China. <laughs> I decided to get a, uh, an American beer, you know, just because it's even more ironic, you know. They call themselves the land of the free. How can they be the land of the free if their citizens cannot even just come and sit down in a public place like this and have a little beer? How are you the land of the free if you cannot even do that? You know, China is the true land of the free. So here's to China. Cheers. <laughs> America, eh? What a joke. You can't walk around with a beer, but don't you worry. You can carry a deadly weapon, a gun, an assault rifle. Don't even worry about it. Just carry it. You can, you can either conceal it underneath your clothes or you can openly just carry it like on your belt, like a cowboy. <laughs> it's, like the, it's like the Wild West in America. You can't make it up. You can't make it up. <laughs> Next thing that you can do in China, which you can't do in the US, is be Asian, be Chinese, right? Or, or be a minority and freely walk around and not face discrimination or prejudice on a daily basis. If you, in America, if you walk around and you're black, Asian, Latino, right? You, you'll most likely get attacked by some thugs or gangs or even even worse, you get attacked and arrested by the police just because of your, your minority, your race, right? But here in China, as a foreigner, myself as a foreigner, as a minority here, you know, I get treated with nothing but friendliness, hospitality, uh, respect, you know, and I've lived here for more than 10 years. I'm a, I, and I'm a minority in this country. It's just, you can't even compare, you can't even compare. You can come to beautiful parks like this one. If this was the US, you know, it'd just be teeming with, with homeless, homeless people and, and, and tents everywhere, just, you know, disrupting the place and causing chaos and, and annoying the people who come and visit this park. But I mean, look at this, look at this place. Oh my God, look at all these lilies. Nice family, family day out. Enjoy the, enjoy uh, Kuemming's beautiful, uh, weather take a little stroll around instead of gangs and thugs and homeless people in china you have groups of uh, beautiful eyes practicing their uh, dances and uh, preparing probably they're preparing for some kind of performance look at this clock tower looks like something out of a fairy tale i know i know that i'm awake I feel like I'm in a dream. Hi! Lincoln, what are you doing? What are you doing? Was there, there was a monkey. Monkeys on tree. There was a monkey in the tree? Or there was a monkey in the uh, bamboo tree? There was a monkey? Muppet. Oh, what? Uh, a monkey? Oh my God, look at the size of this tree. I don't know if you can see the... The scale of that on the camera, <laughs> that is massive. If anyone knows what kind of tree that is, then let me know in the comments below. Wow, must be so old. Not only no tents or homeless people or you know, delinquents lying around, but no rubbish. I don't know if, you, if any of you have spotted. I've not even seen one single piece of trash this whole time that I've been walking around the park. It's really tidy and well, well kept. Uh, 
。耳朵在哪里？呀。鼻子呢？呀。嘴巴？嘴巴。啊啊，那它的耳朵？耳朵。它的手在哪里呀？哦，它没有手吗？Oh my God! Look at the size of uh, look at the size of this grandpa's uh, this grandpa's camera. What's the matter? I don't know what he's. Uh, I'm not sure what he's taking picture of. Mm. <laughs> We've got some super long lens. You you take take what? Oh, oh, nail, hua, oh. Ah, taking pictures of the birds. Ah, I see them over there. I guess they're quite far away. That's why you need the uh, one meter long like lens. <laughs> Got grandmas and grandpas working out, staying healthy, keeping fit. Shirtless, handsome grandpas, making sure they're healthy and flexible. <laughs> You really don't have to even think about your safety. It doesn't even come come in your mind. Even that's how safe it is. You can just truly relax and, and take in uh, take in the park and this peacefulness and tranquility. That brings me on to my next point: safety slash freedom. Here in China, you know, you don't even have to think about it. I, I don't. When I walk down the street, day or night, I don't have to. I don't have to look over my shoulder and think about someone's gonna rob me, stab me, gun me down. But in America, especially if you are a minority, if you're Asian, or, 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 or something besides white, right? In America, you're constantly going to be after looking over your shoulder, and it, it's the same uh, in Europe, uh, in the UK. At night, especially at night, you're always just you know worried about some gangs or some someone might stab you, shoot you. You know, it's incredibly dangerous uh, if you walk down the wrong street. You know, you don't. You, maybe you don't know the area, but you walk down the wrong street, you you might end up, you might end up dead. You know. So, uh, but in China, you know, it's just not like that. You can just walk down, walk anywhere. Look, just walking down some random, some random alleyway. Do I need to care? Do I need to? Do I need to look over my shoulder? If someone is anyone behind me? No. You don't have to worry about it. Now that is freedom. If you can do that, that's freedom. Next point is to have access to cheap, affordable public transport, like the city bikes, the buses,、um, the metro.、Um, you can literally, you can literally get on the metro, zip across the city for like four RMB. I mean, it's so inexpensive. But compared to the US, I mean, firstly, their public transport system is basically non-existent. Their 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 metro. I mean, their subway is just awful. Not only that, but then it's expensive as well. You cannot even cannot even compare. I mean, I've I've travelled across so many provinces in China,、um, and, and so many cities, and all of them that I've been to, they have a developed public transport system, and their their metro is just crazy. It's like something out of the future. I mean, I've showed mo I've showed most of you on on the videos. Okay, so that was just a few points,、uh, a few things that you can do in China that you can't do in America. It's all love, baby, love. Must be love, 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 love. Lincoln saying, "Signing off." Signing off. Lincoln. Signing off. Signing off. You might as well. I love you. Love you. Hmm. Signing off. From the lovely streets of Kuomintang. I'll see you in the next one. Signing off.